Hi Sugar Cookie, for those of you who are new around here, I'm Cookie, your lifestyle whisperer. I'm making a sauce that you're gonna wanna use that is delicious on pork tenderloin, on turkey, game, chicken. Did I say turkey? Or you can toss it with vegetables such as parsnips, roasted beets, potatoes, Brussels sprouts. I promise you, this is delicious. It's easy to make, easy to find ingredients, and you don't have to cook it. Stay tuned because it is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Let me show you what I'm using. Tell your friend that the Lifestyle Whisperer is on. All right. This is what you'll need. Five cloves of garlic or whatever amount of garlic your heart desires. Salt and pepper, which is in this container right here. A lemon that has seen or a lime that has seen better days. Some shallots, some extra virgin olive oil, some Dijon mustard coarse ground black pepper. This is a mixture of turmeric, garlic powder, and black pepper. This is two and a half cups of loosely chopped flat leaf parsley. A little tip, use your kitchen shears to chop. I love these things, absolutely fabulous. I'm doing mine in my food processor. So let's get to doing this. I will put all the ingredients in the recipe in the description uh, area of this video, okay? Let's get this party started. So here I have two and a half cups of loosely packed, or loosely, not loosely packed, loosely <laughs> chopped flat leaf parsley. Flat leaf parsley looks like this. Okay, you can see it's flat. The other parsley is curly. Now I've given this a good wash. Now I'm following a recipe by, um, where is it, where is it? I can't find it now, but I've adopted it to my palate. But I'm gonna dump all that in here. And I'm also going to get a little bit of water as well. I have five garlic cloves, large ones at that. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil at that, if you need more then you can add later, depending on what type of thickness you want. Three tablespoons of Dijon mustard. That's one. Two. Oh, a little tip I wanted to give you is that when you have anything that's pasty like this or saucy, line it up with a little bit of oil first because it literally just glides out of there. Absolutely fabulous, love that. This is a lifestyle channel. You're gonna learn a lot of good tips on here and a lot of things about cooking, fashion, and so much more thrifting, a whole lot, so stay tuned. <laughs> so that's three right there. And then, some salt and pepper to taste. Just like that. This is Himalayan. I mean, not Himalayan, this is sea salt. And I'm gonna add some of this turmeric garlic powder and black pepper mix that I make. That doesn't have salt, so I can go ham with that if I want to. I'm going to add these three shallots and half of this lemon that's seen by the days. Get some water and I'll get back. I forgot to mention that I'll be adding some honey to kind of balance out the garlic and the shallots and the pecan, ooh, pecan of the mustard, okay? And there's my half a lemon or lemon juice. If you want, you can add fresh lemon. You don't want to do dang, don't judge me. <laughs> half a lemon, just like that, or a lime. I'm gonna add my three shallots half a cup of water. I'm gonna add, isn't this a cute honey pot? My daughter gave this to me for my birthday last year. Just like that. And like I mentioned before, I'm going to keep the olive oil parked close by. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep it close by to see how smooth the sauce is going to turn out. I'm gonna do it on chop real quick, so 
Hold on to your seats. Here we go. Uh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Stand by for a mechanical malfunction. It's user error. All right, let's test it and see. Oh yes. This is about the consistency, or it is the consistency that I'm looking for. Let's taste her. Oh, she's delicious. Okay. Now I'm just waiting for my green beans to finish. And we're gonna plate her. Do we see the deliciousness that is baking right there? Oh, I started off in this pan, which is at baking at 350 degrees. I seared it and then I covered it and I'm finishing it off in the oven. So the sauce is gonna go on that. I'm gonna let it settle for about a good 20 to 25 minutes. And then I'm gonna put the shoe on the side. I'm making some sweet potatoes with this and green beans on the side. Oh my gosh, this is resting. I just wanna share with you, it's not burnt. That's just the way the sauce, the seasoning, I should say, the seasoning paste, the color that it turned. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then the garlic confit, that you, do you see that? Absolutely amazing. I'm letting it rest. I'm basting it. I'm serving this with sweet baked potato and some sauteed green beans. Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this in here. <laughs> I can't wait to tear into that. It's gonna be juicy and delicious and garlicky. Delicious. Let me know what you think of the sauce, what you would pair it with. There's the green beans. There's the sauce on both sides, the sweet potato, the pork tenderloin with the garlic confit on top. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. I can't wait for the mister to tear into this and let me know what he thinks. Do you see the char on those green beans? Mm-hmm, I dry char them in a dry skillet, frozen or fresh. And that's the result that I get with some fresh garlic, olive oil, and my turmeric mix seasoning. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be delicious. I can't wait to see what the mister thinks. Thank you Lord, for the sweet I'm about to receive. You know, I'm going <laughs> for the meat first. Oh, of course, of course. That looks so good, doesn't like it? Like the English do it. Like the English do it. <laughs> Whoa, that is delish. Oh man, I like that. Very garlicky. I mm -hmm. love using garlic. Shallot parsley sauce, who knew? Delicious. Babe, it's good. Oh, I've been waiting for I'm this. I'm glad you enjoyed, babe. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. Is it good, babe? Boy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be with um, Nobody wants to go next to me with all this guy. Like. Go for your health. Look at dang, look at dang. Absolutely. Is it tender? Oh yeah, it's juicy. I know. I haven't had ten, uh, pork tenderloin in, woo! It's very lean, but it's so juicy, it's not dry. Mmm, 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 it's good. Oh. Well, sugar cookies, if you want more of this content like this, then follow me, subscribe. I love for you to join my lifestyle sauce, and I'll see you in the next video. Delicioso and bon appetit. Hi, sugar cookie. And toss it up with some root vegetables, parsnips. Um, what is it? Are you serious right now? <laughs> oh, I know what's wrong. <laughs> you want to try this out, baby, now? Hold on. Let me take a pic. <laughs> For the gram? Okay. Hello? Agent 777 here. Mission accomplished. 